What's up there, people of YouTube and beyond? It's I, Hero King Larry. We're back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero Story Mode. And in the last part, we began the What If Krillin was with Goku. So now uh, we are on the Frieza side of things where uh, the Ginyu Force showed up. We beat them. And now we're about to deal with uh, we're about to deal with Vegeta getting his body stolen. From now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience. Vegeta, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Ginyu, before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu. What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? Nah, guys, he's not betraying I'm us. I'm not sure, but we have to keep on fighting or we're toast. All right, it's time for us to finish this. Oh, come on. Come on, boy, let's go! Kakarot, don't you dare injure my body! Is that... can you? Wait, your body? No, no way! Slow on the uptake, aren't we? Yes, my special power allows me to swap bodies with another! Vegeta's strength is mine to wield! Pardon me, Captain Ginyu. Have you forgotten my orders to obtain Come on. the Dragon Balls? No, of course not, Lord Frieza. But I haven't yet located anyone with a power level high enough to match your description. Get out of here! Naturally, because these vermin have the ability to control their power levels. Thus, the Namekian who created the Dragon Balls is probably suppressing his power level and hiding somewhere as we speak. I'm getting excited. I'm gonna finish you off, boy. Okay. Oh, I was trying to kill it all in flash mode. Forget it. Take that. Yeah, but yeah. How about you all like, comment, and subscribe? Have you hit that bell for notifications? You've been using Vegeta's body. Why can't I kill you? <laughs> I don't want to glaze Vegeta too much, but there's no way that you can use his body properly. That's that's probably not what's actually happening. There's oh. no other choice then. I'll just take your body instead. Change oh, now! Oh. Kakarot, get out of the way! Sorry about that. I think you guys heard that. Ah. Vegeta blocks Ginyu's attempts, forcing him back into his own body. <laughs> I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta! I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Mm. Oh, try to take the end. Change now. Ooh. Wait, Shouts it? Will Ginyu temporarily stun Tien narrowly avoid having his body it, taken? You froze for a second. What happened? Yo, ain't that no way Shouts it. Must be. Chaozu. No, Chaozu helped save the day. Chaozu did. Yo, like, this is the most Dragon Ball timeline ever. Worry about his friends. Shoutsu followed behind being careful not to be noticed. Shoutsu used his telekinesis to change Ginyu's body with a frog and the battle is won. Okay. Concerned for the wounded Goku and Vegeta, Krillin and others give, uh, handed them sense of being healed. Even, even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone and that Vegeta's help will be required. However, Frieza is enraged by seeing his underlings beaten, and he goes after Goku and the others, unable to bear seeing his friends in any more. And uh, sorry, friends hurt anymore. Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one battle. You wish to do battle with me? What? <laughs> yeah. I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> All right, Frieza, be careful. I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, 
Someone's done his homework, hasn't he? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can Damn. transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Damn. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Bro. <laughs> now, feast your eyes. All right. Okay, second form only. All right, all right. Second form only. Let's go. Oh, what, what the fuck? Power is practically doubled. You're in for oh, it now. Shoot. My second form oh. makes the one you're familiar with look oh, as gentle shit. as a sleeping I'm getting kitty. Here it goes. Why you? Oh. You're oh, wait. Crap. Oh, my fucking controller about to die too. Oh. Oh. All right. Come on. For a spirit bomb. I get my control charge up. Hold that for me. Oh yeah, hold that. This is taking longer than I wanted. Woo! Gotcha, boy. Okay. All right. All right. Oh god, his third form. Frieza, in the midst of the next level of transformation, and intends to show Goku his strength just how much more powerful than he really is. In the further plunge Goku in the spares, uh, depths of the spares, Frieza orders his soldiers to eliminate Goku's wounded allies. Just as the Legion of Truth appear from Frieza's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chaozu back home. Our heroes give the last of their sense of beings to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza while fighting Frieza's soldiers despite their own wounds. Armed with sensor beings and the hope of his companions, Goku takes the battle of the Frieza one last time. Oh! Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot! Even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What? What the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one. Oh? Idiot. Oh. It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him. How could a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? Okay, so we're struggling with third form. So we're pretty strong. Oh. oh. Oh god. Gotcha! Stay okay! me. 
Oh, shoot. Oof. Come on. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's go! This is it! Me? Huh? Me? It's been amusing, but I've grown tired of this charade. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. My true power! Now get ready! Aw, oh, shoot. You transforming? The wait is over. Now I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. What are you waiting for? Eat that last sense of being and be quick about it! I'll sit the Gina! But, but what about... Just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength! Forgive me! Vegeta, don't oh, shut up. You're far more wounded than I am. Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy. You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life. A warrior who fights to protect people they care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? What the? You still don't understand what it means to be a Saiyan. So now I'll set the example. You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! That sucks that the biggest drawback to making a strong enough spirit bomb is how long it takes gotcha. to Let's go. the energy for it. Vegeta may not last long against Frieza. Please, Goku. Take my energy as well. K Kami? I feel it. It's not much. But every little bit helps, right, buddy? We're fighting alongside you to the very end. We believe in you, Goku. God, why did our last hope? Please take Frieza down. Woo! Oh my God! <laughs> now this one if is great. Oh, are we about to beat Frieza? Oh, the sparking episode. What's hey. this? Oh. Is that what I think it is? I, I've never seen a mass of energy that size. Uh, how unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam, come on! Oh. Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd been taken care of! What? I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies! You just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience! You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! Yeah. Okay, it's finally ready. Do it! Go, go! What have you done? We do a spear bomb at the old ship. This child's play. Your fisting tricks them. You dial. I will love. Oh. Good night. So long, Frieza. Hey, we did it.
With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeated Frieza with his spirit bomb. Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth as they should be on planet Namek. It seems as if Frieza and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. Typical, true heroes are... Typically, true heroes are the only ones worthy of using Dragon Balls. Everyone's discovered that the god of the Earth is a Namekian. Permission to use Dragon Balls were granted. That's kind of racist. Afterward, a Namekian boy named Dende uses mysterious powers to heal everyone's wounds. These are Goku and friends are expressing their gratitude. A fully recovered Vegeta appears. Oh? What are we doing? This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. And mark my words, one day soon I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving. Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over, for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. Ah oh man, I think Cell's going to be like way Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. Yo, that was good. Hey! Custom battle! Goku Saga side by side. Hey! We did it! Alright, so looks like side by side is done. So, let's go to here. Let's go to Earth's Mightiest Duo. Here it goes! And let's do the question with... Alright, let's get back to canon. Goku is no match for Radix's overwhelming strength, and Radix especially kidnapped Gohan. How? Okay. He is then... Oh, right, right, right. Hold on, we already did all this. Yep, skip. What? What are you doing? Skip. We already saw all this. All right, let's work with Piccolo. Let's keep it canon. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh, uh, of course. Let's go. Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut about <laughs> the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. True. All right. So now... We got this whole thing. Radix locked up the kidnapped Gohan inside a space pod. Goku aims a uh, aims land surprise attack, but Radix uses his scouter to see him. Now Goku may face Radix head on with the help of Piccolo son. Oh, Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. Exactly. So let's run the ones, bro. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer, and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Hey. Let's go! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little see, something can... with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to that level. But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow. 
No what? How about this? We're settling this right here and now. To boy. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Okay. All right, I know what to do. Let's go to full power. You've got a new special attack kitten up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, no <Nope. laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Oh, yeah. I got dog. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before Tommy? you use it. Tommy! So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. How about this? We're settling this right here and now. Come on. I think I won. Am I supposed to win? I don't know. Uh, did, did we change the cannon? So there's a what if right there. I don't know if we changed it. Let's look and see. If we didn't, then we would know. Say nope. Goodbye, okay, so we didn't change it. Don't hurt my dad. Yeah, we saw all this. Leave him alone. No, stop. Don't do Problem is, it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. Oh, I got it. What? Behind you! Because I beat him pretty fast. Okay. Okay. Yep. 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 Looks like we got it. I wonder if we get it because this is different. Say good. No. No. What the? Nope, thought I had it. Thought I had it. God dang it. Oh, I did it! I don't think I did it! He's got the will to fight anymore. I got him. Woo! Someone who'd want to kill all my friends and family is no brother of mine! I got you, bro. Now you better get the hell off this planet and never come back here again! Got you, boy. Go on. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> You're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen. Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act. Say oh, your dude. prayers. What is he? The hell? Special beam cannon! <laughs> what? Hey, we got him. <sighs> Bastard! Damn it! Beaten by a filthy maggot! Got you, boy. You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, no. I'd be lying on the ground with Yo, him. Yo, why is Piccolo walking like a black <laughs> <laughs> Well, truth be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. Yeah, the, bro. The Dragon Balls? Yeah, boy. Yeah. All seven combined have the power to grant any wish. Even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. Exactly. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted oh, to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they oh, learn that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. Uh-oh. Wait, the other two Saiyans, when are they going to get here? One oh. year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. Two of them? Even stronger than him? Yeah, bro. 
How Barely? sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> well, we're going to kill him, Piccolo. Dang. Okay. Okay, we training. In a year, a pair of sayings will come after hearing Radic's words. Doku immediately, immediately invites Piccolo to help him train. In addition, at Piccolo's suggestion, they convince Chi Chi to let Gohan take part. Doku is sure the training has made him stronger. In the meanwhile, two, the two Saiyans are approaching Earth. Gohan, let's you and I do a little sparring. What do you say? Really? With you, Dad? Yeah, boy. Of course! You've already gotten way stronger than me when I was your age. We just need to keep up your training. Don't you agree, Piccolo? Oh, sure. But he'd be a lot stronger than that if he wasn't being spoiled so much. <laughs> Aw, don't be like that. What are you so nervous about? Come on, Gohan. Buck up! Yeah, boy. Rick, thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to. Uh, to uh, tee up a uh, little man. Come on, man. Come on, boy. You've been a year. What have we taught you? We're settling this right here and now. Ooh, ah, dang, that would've been nice, that would've been nice. That energy, looks like they got here earlier than expected. Oh, uh, are, oh, are they here? I'll go get some sensu beans from Corn Tower. Piccolo, keep an eye on him for me. It says as I knock him to a mountain, bet. All right, how bad is this about to be? Wait, y'all didn't have sense of beans on. Goku hurries the uh, corn tower and he, he, and he immediately returns to join his companions after receiving the beans. That's some right. massive energy I'm sensing. It started already, hasn't it? Goku senses that something significant is going to happen in this battle. Yamcha about to die. Ah. Yamcha! You're a lifesaver, Goku! Goku? Of course, you must be Kakarot. Yeah, boy. You've got a lot of power. <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Yeah, boy. Goku, let me back you up. Let's clean up this mess in one fell swoop. Yeah. Bro, we saved Yamcha's life. That man was about to get blown. <laughs> We're settling this right here and now. That's your boy. That's your boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And good night. What? What? Wow! Gotcha, bud. Gotcha, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm about to fight Napa now. After they, they yeah, after they success, successfully delete, defeated the Cyberman, Napa is the next opponent to appear before Goku and his friend. Tien steps forward to fight Napa, but both he and Chaozu are immediately overwhelmed. Goku joins the battle and manages to save Tien. 
Well, I'm guessing he would have lost Chancer. his hand. Tien needs one of those sensu beans, quick! Uh, right! G Goku! Your fight's with me now! <laughs> Better make it a good one then. We are, we are. I mean, maybe. I mean, like, we must be like. Okay, oh, okay. Oh my god, I keep, keep messing up the combo. I keep messing it up. Hey, we did it. Not good. Oh, we're struggling. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good shit. We're oh, we're struggling against this. Last one. Yeah! Damn it. Sensor being he had in his pocket in the full recovery. He didn't notice the change. Oh, wow! Mouth. I feel even stronger than I did before. When he turns to face Gohan, Piccolo! Piccolo! <laughs> what a moron! Only thing he changed was the order I'm killing you in. Damn. So never. And so the sense of being Goku recovers, but during that time, Piccolo dies defending Gohan. Go Goku orders Gohan to leave the field of battle. Gohan, take Piccolo and leave. Get as far away from here as you can. I can't afford to lose you. Dad! Let's do what he says, kiddo. If we head back to Kame House, Bulma should be able to preserve Piccolo's body. Yamcha, make sure Gohan's kept safe. I promise. Don't go dying on me! Who does this guy think he is? Waltzing up to me like it's nothing! As I thought, he's grown stronger after having mm. his wounds healed. But how he's recovered so quickly is cause for concern. It might be too late, Goku. Even if Piccolo's body is preserved, he... I know. Which means the Dragon Balls would be gone forever, too. No, it's not hopeless. Even if he dies, there's still a way. Uh, a way to do what? Before you guys got here. Those aliens mm. referred to Piccolo as a Namekian. I realized something important as a result. I'll explain all the details later, but for now... Yeah, we gotta focus on winning this fight first. <laughs> you can oh, save boy. some time and attack all at once. Just another few bodies for the pile. Oh, snap. Let's go. Guys, all right. don't do anything crazy. Right. Damn it. If only Yamcha were here too. Huh? Hey, where did Shotsu go? Just cause you can get back up again, doesn't mean you should! Oh, okay. Get out of here! I don't know how exactly he was able to heal up so fast. As I thought, Kakarot's strength has already increased. After all, we Saiyans grow more powerful every time we return from the brink of death. Could he have somehow known that about his heritage? 
Oh, okay. Okay, that man was just broken for some reason. I screwed up. Please help me. Yeah, boy, you did mess up. Too bad. I have no use for a paralyzed Saiyan. You're dead white. Woo. Yeah, boy. Okay. Seeing Nappa as dead weak, Vegeta kills him without a second fall. He's a psycho. He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason. Yeah, I definitely we agree. have to face facts. This other one is way out of our league. Forgive me, guys, but I want to face off against him one on one. Goku, I get you. Let him have this, Tien. You said it yourself. He's too strong for us to even be able to lend a hand. Yeah, but... Yo, let's finish this someplace else. Fine by me. Makes no difference. Okay. Okay. Stay in the cannon. Tien and Chrome watches Goku and Vegeta fight to die. After finding a place where there are no humans or animals, Goku and Vegeta each assume their fighting stance. Now, allow me to show you a wall that no amount of hard work will help you climb. And so the battle between Vegeta and Goku begins. Oh, oh my God! Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, he Oh my god, he is Okay. Okay. Get ready to see the real strength. Let's go. Ta! Me! You left me no choice. I'll have to become a great ape and grind you to a pulp! Great ape? What are you talking about? Wait a damn second! This planet's moon should be visible, but I can't see it anywhere! You clever snake Kakarot! You destroyed the moon before I even set foot on the battlefield! I did not! I said it before, I don't even know what you're going on about! Never mind! As luck would have it, I come with my own backup source of moonlight! Yeah? How about you? Stop it! Your lack of knowledge will be your undoing! Now watch as my Powerball substitutes as a full moon to spark a transformation beyond your wildest dreams! Transformation? Now we're dead! First open and mix! Ah. Now I'll finish you off for good. I'll break you! Oh God! What, what the hell's going on here? So, so he's some kind of like great ape monster? Oh God! Back up! Oh God! Oh no! Wait! I, I can't use this! I can't use this! Yep! Ah! Uh, Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I think I'm. Oh yeah, I'm so. Oh no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa. How did that hit? Whoa. Alright. It's gonna be doing way better now. Woo. Damn it. Krillin. Over there! Goku! I did it! Alright! Oh my god. I'm just letting y'all know, I lost this fight. Like, a lot of times. Like, Jesus. I don't know if you guys are going to see the losses. Goku lost starts in this from Vegeta's attack. It seems like the Destiny's religion, but just say that allies have 
appeared at Christmas time from nowhere. Oh, thank you, Chao Tzu. Good thing you had those sensu beans on you. Goku received a sensu bean from Chao Tzu and recovered, but... But Tien! Oh, Goku sees his friend's defeat at the hands of Vegeta. Krillin! Uh. Oh, gonna revive your friend again? Or have you learned to let the weak stay dead? Maybe now you understand what it means to be a Saiyan, Kakarot. Damn, I'm all out of sense of beans. Oh, well, damn. then it's time for me to conclude this battle. And you'll be reunited with your friends in one more painful moment. What? That's enough. Oh, snap. Oh snap! No! What are you? You shut your mouth! With Piccolo dead, the Dragon Balls are gone. And Krillin, he's already been killed once and can never be revived again! I will never, ever forgive you for this! Oh, Vegeta. Oh, Vegeta, I'm so... Sorry, bro. <laughs> a magical change of hair color doesn't undo the fact that I bore out class you. We'll see about bro. that. Bro, you're talking oh, all now you've suddenly grown the spine. Every word that escapes your mouth infuriates me all the same. Yeah. That's it. Alright, let's go. No, that would be impossible. There's no way. But those were just old stories. And even if they're true, only an elite warrior like myself could ascend to those heights. Not some fool like Kakarot. I am the culmination of everything superior in the Saiyan race. It is my right to become the legendary Super Saiyan! Yeah. <laughs> we'll say, as a Super Saiyan right now, I am getting kind of pieced up by are a true warrior race! Don't Talking all this smack, but I don't even see your body anymore. Think I just eviscerated this boy. You want to know how long I've been waiting for this? Oh, I'm about to make a name for myself. How can I be reduced to this? It's inconceivable. I never want to see you on this planet again. And I shall never forget this humiliation. My, my words, Kakarot. I too will surpass the limits of what a Saiyan can do. Yeah, okay, bro, get out of here. Oh, I guess Goku passed out. Shortly after, Goku faints. When he awakes, Gohan is there. As he grieves over using his impressive friends in the Dragon Ball, he remembers Krillin mentioned the planet Namek. It is, it is in that Gohan recalls the conversation between Vegeta and Nappa. They had spoken of the possibility of Dragon Balls on the planet Namek. Well, with the help from Boma and Mr. Popo, they get their hands on a spaceship. But Goku, since that something will happen, makes up his mind to go alone. While Boma arranges the spaceship, for Goku to use, Goku focuses on training. It is Dad, in that Gohan person. I'm sorry I 
can't go with you, but promise me you'll come back with the Dragon Balls, so we can wish back Mr. Piccolo and the others. You got it, Gohan. Goku arrives on Planet Namek alone. Before him lies a terrible scene. The Mechian body screw, screw around the ground. Goku's dark predimension became a reality. Wait! Please don't run away! Mm. Eek! It's okay. I'm not gonna eat you or anything. Huh? Hey! Who the hell are you? Are you with him? Those must be the Namekian Dragon Balls I saw on my radar. They're way huger than the ones on Earth. If you're after these, then you must be with him. Who's him? What do you mean? Get him! Is Vegeta here? Oh, wow, like... These one of are so, like... This will end it! Oh god! God, I'm getting beat up by the Frieza soldier! Ooh, okay! Okay, Frieza soldier can box! Bro, oh, okay, okay, okay! Yo, I gotta throw my solar flare away. Alright, bro. Alright, then, little bro, let's go. Get ready to see my real strength. Ha! Well, <laughs> these are tough one. Yeah, it's they are. Yeah. Level is off the charts. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. It's always so funny to see to be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is off the charts. Yeah. Wow. Huh? This energy. It's Vegeta, right? Oh, Vegeta! Oh! Saiyan Saga Vegeta is a Super Saiyan? With his tail? You know, it would have been better if they made the tail go. Goku now stands before someone resembling himself. Goku has, uh, yeah, Vegeta has awakened in his own Super Saiyan power. Vegeta too, in search of a dragon. Now he stands in Goku's way. With Freezer out of the way, my fight is with you now, Kakarot. Oh. Now become a Super Saiyan immediately. Freezer dead? The sparks of their battles are about to fly off once again. What do you think, Kakarot? Now I too can transform into the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> oh, God. oh, I see. This little guy's an Amekian. To bring everyone back to life, I have no choice but to take down Vegeta. What are you waiting for? Turn Super Saiyan, or would you rather just lay down and die? <laughs> Please tell me you can transfer. Let's go! Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Indeed. For killing you in this state is the only way to reclaim my honor. I pushed myself to the verge of death to improve my strength. But despite my greatest efforts, I knew deep down that I still hadn't reached your level. But then... Out of the endless rage invoked by the humiliation you left me after our last battle, I became a Super Saiyan and killed Frieza with my own two hands. Oh, I, I want to see that. So I think you know Kakarot. Yeah, come on, bro. Well, now that you've achieved this strength, what do you even need the Dragon Balls for? Why bother killing innocent people like the Namekians? Simple, because the universe has no room for the weak. So why don't you join me? 
Nothing will be out of your grasp. What do you say, Kakarot? I have everything I could ever need, Vegeta. To truly be a Super Saiyan, you've got to be pure of heart, awakened by fury. That's what I am. Your rage alone helped you reach the transformation, but you still lack what it takes to unlock its real power. If you're taking your leave, you had better finish me off this time. Oh, I'm not killing you. And no, it's not to make you feel any sense of shame. What? It's because I want to fight with you again someday. So the next time you feel ready, you can bet I'll be ready too. Kakarot, you're a true Saiyan after all. <laughs> then the next time we cross paths, I'll be stronger. Strong enough to crush you once and for all. Bro, I'm just telling you, like, it would be perfect if his tail was... Bro. And so, Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan rematch comes to an end. Our hero looks on as his newfound rival takes his leave of planet Namek. Goku triumphantly returns home to Earth to celebrate with his family and friends. Their world now at peace. As Goku continues to improve himself, one must wonder how much stronger will he become? Only time and his next challenge will tell. Bro, that, that was good. That was a good what if. Yo, push, pushing the limit. That was good. Hey, I got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta off this. Yo, that was good. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that was good. Pushing the limit was really good. Ah. Uh, okay. All right, guys. So with that, I think I think we're gonna end off the part here, uh, or we're gonna end off this little part. Uh, it's kind of long. So yeah, this is Hero King Larry signing out. How about y'all like, comment, and subscribe? How about y'all hit that bell for notifications? And I'll see you all in the next part. Literally, I might just make like the Super Saiyan stuff like his own video, depending on how long it was. So. Stay safe, stay, stay, stay Gucci, and like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later.